The Premier knows that we need economic growth in this province, but he seems to have forgotten that without meaningful action on the childcare crisis, a full economic recovery is impossible. We're in the midst of a she session with, with women suffering majority of job losses during the pandemic. We don't just need any recovery, we need a she recovery, and we can't achieve that without affordable childcare. Why is this government refusing to increase funding for childcare and invest in the system we need? Well, thank you to the member opposite for that question. You know, as I mentioned in my speech yesterday, you know, I've been surrounded by incredible women in my life, very fortunate, uh, including my grandmother, who came from Europe during World War II, who came to this country uh, with bombs and bullets overhead uh, and, uh, and came to this country, and Ontario has afforded so much to her uh, in her life, and she was a teacher. Um, I really understand, and my government, uh, our government understands how important the leadership of women have been through this crisis and how women need to be part of the recovery. So child care is an important part of that, and that's why we've struck a task force with the minister, associate minister of women and children and myself Order. to hear from all women to make sure that our economic recovery Response. is inclusive and works with all the incredible women in this province. Thank you. Supplementary question. Speaker, this budget does not solve the problem of Ontario having the highest childcare fees in the country. It does nothing for families struggling to find space for their child. Last year, for the first time in a decade, more childcare centres closed than opened in this province, a net loss of 58 childcare centres. Why does this budget have no plan to control fees and create the desperately needed new childcare spaces? Mr. Mr. Speaker, thank you, thank you very much for the very important question from the member opposite. Mr. Speaker, uh, as I outlined in the budget yesterday, uh, we're creating, uh, we've created the uh, support for learners, support for families, Ontario Child COVID uh, benefit, child benefit, uh, immediate money into the pockets of the many families, mothers and fathers in this problem with, with province with children, Order. zero to uh, grade 12. Immediately, that's doubling what we did before. Mr. Speaker, we uh, doubled the uh, child care tax credit to put more money into the pockets of those families for expenses such as child care. We're continuing on our pledge to build 30,000 new child care spaces. We've already uh, announced and built 20,000, including in my riding at Pickering. And the first public school, thank you, uh, Minister, the first public school in 20 years in Pickering, including 85 child care spaces, Mr. Speaker. This is Response. very important to our government. It's very important to me, and we have a lot more to do on this. We'll do it together. Thank you. <laughs>